So David Jason is one of a kind. No! More than 40 years after filming Only Fools and Horses, he still has fans queuing around the block just to get a glimpse of their hero. So David Jason, yeah. you're in a queue waiting to see him. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's her idea, but he's just been on our screen since I was a kid. He's been in so many things that we've enjoyed over the years. So. He's a legend. <laughs> I'm his number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> Applause, accolades and awards seem to follow Sir David wherever he goes. He told me that's something he's still trying to get his head around. Have you accepted all of the joy that your work has brought to people over the years? I think the short answer is no, meaning I find it very difficult to understand that or to appreciate it because I've been having such a great time when I was making those programmes in particular. There are a lot of us, all of us, that were involved in the programme of Only Fools and Horses particularly. Uh, it, it wasn't like going to work, it was going to have a laugh with your friends. It nice and cool, son. Nice and cool, you know what I mean? I do understand that people do appreciate what I've done and they like very much what I've done. And yes, they're still seeing some of the shows, but the answer is uh, no, just uh, a little lad from Finchley. A lad from Finchley who loves the festive season so much, he's written all about it. A Christmas special in book form, as he puts it packed full of life lessons. The one thing I would say, try to get to people, is that in your life, in your work life, is if you can enjoy it, that's the most important thing. As, look, it's not perfect, is it, life, but if you can enjoy most of it, then you're winning. Keep working, keep winning. It certainly worked out for Sir David Jason. Daniel Henry, ITV News. Thank you, David.